12 to 1500 of the marathon. That is troublesome on the timetable. There's less than 12 hours between those two. What clues do we get over the best part of four minutes of running as to what Sifan Hassan will plan to do in the coming weeks at the Olympic Games. Defending an Olympic title in the 5,000 and the 10,000. She won the bronze, of course, in the 1,500 metres as well. There's a possibility that if anyone could match the almost outrageous achievements of people like Fanny Blankers Kern, whose name graces this stadium and this event, in winning four gold medals, three different track titles, someone like Sifan Hassan can do that. He settles in behind Melissa Courtney Bryant at the moment, Winnie Nanyondo setting the pace. They've asked for 3.54, Rob here, which would be a meeting record again. But again, a little bit of a time trial for Hassan here. You'd expect her to be a class above the rest of these if she's in tip-top shape. She's almost got too many choices at her disposal. Such is the talent of the woman we're talking about now moving up into second place, leading the race proper because Nanyondo is a pacemaker. Just bear in mind with Hassan, we're talking about the second fastest marathon runner in history, the second fastest miler in history, eighth of all time at the 15, ninth of all time at the 5,000, and fourth fastest of all time at 10,000 metres. Her range is unprecedented, but she's got to make a decision. Leading at the moment from Courtney Bright with Ikiri in third place. They're beginning to reel in Nan Yondo. This is fascinating, and there's a look of intent on the face of Sifan Hassan. She's not content to sit at the back. She wants to test herself here and needs to with Kip Yegon in world record breaking form. Melissa Courtney Bryant looking to run a confidence boosting race in second position. Mary Akira is uh, sat in third position at the moment. As you can see, Van der Els is just going back a couple of places. Maureen Costa for the Dutch fans as well, further back in the field of the orange and blue. Both Hassan and Costa are qualified for the Netherlands in the 5,000 metres. There is a bit of a question mark, of course, Rob, with the indecision from Hassan about it keeping other athletes, both in the, uh, the events that she ultimately chooses not to do, out of the Olympic Games. That's something that would uh, divide opinion a little bit as well, making such a late call. The Dutch are due to announce their team in the next couple of days. Well, she's earned the right, some would say, to leave it late. She's the Olympic champion over five and 10,000 metres. She did the 1,500, 10,000 double in Doha. It's not lightning quick, but we wouldn't have expected that. She went through 800 just inside 210, so around about 402, 403. They're all watching from wherever they can. The pace is slow, they're beginning to bunch. What sort of speed is still in the legs of Sifan Hassan, bearing in mind she's now hammering herself on the marathon as well. One lap to go in the final event of the FBK Games in Hengelo. The double Olympic champion, Sifan Hassan, leads the way in the one event that she's looking to upgrade bronze to gold, maybe, in Paris. Melissa Courtney Bryant of Great Britain on her shoulder, Danny Jones of the USA in third. Then comes Ikiru of Kenya, Costa sneaking up the inside as well. But Sifan Hassan down the back straight, still as we often see her do, looking down at the ground as she focuses, maybe hasn't gone away from this field as we might have expected her to, and Melissa Courtney Bryant gathering up a challenge on the outside. Van der Elst taking the wider course for Belgium, and Hassan has seen one or two go past her here. Now, has she got any kind of response? She's got herself into a bad spot on the curb. Sifan Hassan, on the day the world record has been broken elsewhere in Paris here, got to get herself off the curb and dig deep to try and find something. But she's got Melissa Courtney Bryant and Danny Jones ahead of her. She's not going to catch those. Even Sifan Hassan can't find the answers to register a win here. And it's going to be a huge victory for Melissa Courtney Bryant of Great Britain ahead of Danielle Jones in second place. 4.03.58. It's not quick. But the headlines won't be about the time, it'll be about Sifan Hassan fading to finish back in the pack. She looks perplexed. It's not what we've come to expect from a woman ranked in the top ten of all time across.